At number one last night at Minnesota. Well, maybe glowing's a little overstating the fact. Uh, how about happy to win? Dino Raja strained his neck last night in that game. He is fine. He won't miss a game in the seas. <laughs> Hi again, everyone. Football, golf, boxing, and basketball all finding a spot on this week's Wonder Reel and college football off the top. Eric McNair from Alcorn State had an all-world game yesterday. The Heisman hopeful fired three touchdowns, 476 yards, and he rushed for, oh, 110 yards. The man is an offensive machine, and he gets my vote for Heisman, but he's a long shot at Division I AA. Yesterday, seniors at Myrtle Beach. It's golf. It's Ray Floyd from the beach. Oh, and he puts it right smack dab in the cup. Floyd wins it in sudden death over Jim Albus and Jay Seeger. Yesterday, Utah and Air Force, Leary blocks the extra point for Utah, picks it up, and he's going to go all the way. That's worth two points in college football. However, Air Force stunned 12th ranked Utah 40 to 33. Monday night, Chicago Bulls forward. Tony Kukoc. Well, check out the behind-the-back pass to Steve Kerr for the bucket. Friday, boxing, Peter McNeely makes quick work of Boyd here. McNeely is uh, just a, a monster in the ring. He's set to fight the winner of the Oliver McCall, Larry Holmes fight sometime in March. Yesterday, Salem and Winthrop. Salem wins it with no time left on the clock. Stellato, the touchdown toss to Rodriguez. The two-point conversion is good. Salem stunning Winthrop by a point, and the teachers reportedly will be back in two days. Today, oh, today, Patriots win in overtime, 26-20, Bledsoe to Turner. Oh, the airman, 426 yards passing. That was pass number 70, a much-needed victory for the Pats. And I'm sure they are still celebrating. So much for the wonders. Their comical counterparts, the week's weakest,